Well, hello and welcome to uh, another Norman's Wisdom. You'll be pleased to hear. I hope you guys are well. Um, don't worry, we're only going to be driving for the first bit of this and then when we get going, I'll do some walking and talking. But at the moment, I'm on my way to walking football, so I've got to get through that bit first, <laughs> through that pain first, uh, before I actually get onto the meat of the subject. But um, while, while I was in the car, I thought I might as well have a little chat with you now. I do love a Norman's Wisdom. I hope you're enjoying them as well. Uh, to be honest with you, I wish I could do them more often, but... Um, I kind of have to feel, you know, very sort of passionate about what I'm talking about uh, to do them, otherwise there's no point. And I don't get wound up or passionate about stuff to do with photography that often, believe it or not, although it probably sounds like I do. Uh, but today, I definitely am, hence the title of the video. Um, do you hate my channel? Um, interesting title, yes, but all will be revealed and I'll explain that to you uh, in due course. So. Before that though, I just wanted to uh, chat about a couple of things. Um, if you didn't know, oh, hello, what's going on here? Wood chippings on the road or something? Very strange. Um, let's just avoid that. If you didn't know, um, I'm doing a charity hike uh, in July uh, with the podcast guys, and that will be for three really good causes. Uh, the first one being MS, which is uh, obviously you know very close to my heart the fact that Beth, my wife, has MS. Uh, also Dementia UK, which is very close to Jamie's heart because his dad's suffering with dementia, unfortunately. Uh, I'm sure many of you can uh, associate with yourselves with, with both of those uh, charities. And then the third one is uh, the Disabled Photographers Society, which is was Dave's choice, but it's also very close to, you know, a lot of our hearts because we all love photography and we think that this fantastic hobby uh, should be able to be enjoyed by everybody. So um, being disabled shouldn't be a barrier to enjoy photography. So um, we're doing a, a 25 mile hike in one day uh, around the Lake District. I've got to say, since I you know, started paying attention to quite how far 25 miles is, I am getting a little bit stressed over it because it's quite a long way. Um, especially when I'm driving places, you know, it's taken me sort of 15 minutes and we've done like, less than half of the 25 miles it's a, it's a bit worrying um but it'll be fine it'll be fine on the day i'm going to put out some videos actually uh sort of documenting my progress on that i'm going to call it couch to keswick <laughs> which uh, i thought was quite a catchy title um and what i'll try and do in that is just uh sort of like i say document some of my training if you will maybe a bit of weight loss possibly and then i'll probably talk to some people who are affected by um, some of the you know issues that we're raising funds for the charities for so um, yeah hopefully we'll get what a couple of those two or three of those out before the walk and then we'll we'll do a, a document you know of the day and record all of that and there'll be a video about that as well but I'll put a link below to the Just Giving page I've got to say to those of you who've already donated wow thank you so much we've raised over a thousand pounds and we haven't even been going a week so that's absolutely unbelievable thank you like so much for everyone who's done that um, but if you haven't donated and you want to please please do um, any amount however small it all goes towards the charities so you know that'd be fantastic if you could so like I said I'll put a link below um, the other thing I just wanted to have a quick chat about was my everyday landscapes I hope you're enjoying them um, and they are every day like I said they're not uh, award-winning images or portfolio worthy images but um I've enjoyed doing it. Um, this one's a belter coming up this week. I mean, I put the I put the raw file out for people to edit without really taking a look at the photo that I'd taken. And when I had a look at it, I was like, oh my God, I probably wouldn't even have edited that one. It probably would have just stayed in Lightroom, probably been rejected. Um, but you know, you guys have done some very good edits of it and I'm hoping that my edit will do it some justice and we'll be able to, you know, make a silk purse out of the sow's ear. Um, but you know, I hope you're enjoying that. And, and to be fair, it's uh, it is something that a lot of people hopefully can relate to. You know, not having the, the absolute best of uh, locations where you live, but still wanting to get out and do your photography. So I do hope you're enjoying that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll probably get to walk in football now, uh, injure myself, and then have a little chat with you afterwards about this uh, about this interesting topic that's really got me going today. Right, well that's walking football done and dusted. Uh, lost most of the games. Uh, didn't play too well, but you know, it's good exercise. It's all good. Did about 10,000 steps in it, so can't be bad, can't be bad. All good for the walk. And now I'm back out 
um, into my little, I like to call this my little moaning zone, uh, where I love to come and have a walk in and moan to you. Um, it's just started to rain actually, uh, which is frustrating. And I've brought the wrong trainers as well. I haven't brought my walking boots, so I'm gonna get these muddy. But never mind, that's not the point. So the title of this video is, Do You Hate My Channel? Um, now I'm hoping that most of you would go, no, of course I don't hate your channel. But there's a reason why I put this on. Uh, and it's all to do with uh, a post on X from a, uh, I'm going to say, let's say prominent, a prominent landscape photography YouTuber. Now, my thoughts on this YouTuber are neither here nor there. What I think of them is neither here nor there. Um, I have my opinions, but I keep that to myself. My whole entire conversation here is going to be about a couple of the points made on this post. So, let me read out some of the post to you. Got it here on my phone. Just pull up X, give me a second. Right, so it starts with, if you're not happy with the views your landscape photography vlogs receive, here's some advice. Number one, Top Gear is not about cars and Clarkson's Farm is not about farming. They are in fact the same story. Okay. I mean, I could break that down, but I, I don't even know really what that means. I assume it means that it's not about the content, it's about the presenter. You know, it's a vehicle. They're vehicles for Jeremy Clarkson, basically. So Clarkson's Farm isn't really about farming tips. It's more about the entertainment that you get from watching Jeremy Clarkson and his everyday whatever. Totally agree. Totally agree with that, 100% agree with that. However, however, I wonder what other farmers would think if Jeremy Clarkson put out a series of instructional videos on arable farming or, I don't know, how to drive a tractor properly. Probably wouldn't go down too well because it's not really about the farming, it's about the presenter, it's about the personality. So. I guess what this guy's saying here is that it's more about that. So yeah, I kind of agree with that, but equally, if you're gonna have that idea, so if you're trying to make videos that are engaging for people to watch and they're not really about the subject, i.e. photography, they're more about the concept and the presentation, then equally, maybe don't make videos that are instructional about the photography if your photography isn't of a standard that warrants that instruction. That, that would be just how I would look upon that. Not saying that this guy's photography is or isn't, uh, but it's just interesting that you've got that dichotomy between, look at me, I'm gonna do something crazy to get some views and, oh, by the way, let's get serious now and let me talk about something. It's, uh, it's, in, it's an interesting, that one interesting one that one but that isn't the one that really piqued me this is the one right number two every time you hear the, yourself complaining about the algorithm change the word algorithm to audience and then there's three little things here the in inverted commas algorithm hates this video the algorithm hates my channel the algorithm doesn't like me. So essentially, what he's saying there is replace the word algorithm with audience. So I'm not getting loads of views. Therefore, he's saying the audience hates my channel. The audience hates my video. The audience doesn't like me. Uh, right, so firstly, brilliant motivational advice there. Um, thank you very much uh, because, you know, my videos are not watched very much. So therefore, no one, everyone hates my channel and no one likes me. Um, but secondly, I, well, I mean, I totally don't agree with that because there's so many brilliant, brilliant vlogs out there and brilliant, brilliant creators out there who don't get what they deserve because they are not brilliant at marketing. Maybe, 
Maybe they weren't in the space first. Maybe they didn't get that foothold to establish themselves. Maybe they don't have that, uh, what would I call it? Bravado to say, look at me, how fantastic I am. I'm amazing, me, I'm amazing. Come and look at my work. Maybe they don't suffer the Dunning-Kruger effect. Maybe they suffer more from imposter syndrome. Um, maybe there's several reasons why they're not getting eyes on their video. I mean, I've watched loads and loads of really fantastic videos from people who are not getting the views that they deserve. But does that mean that, that the audience hates them and hates their channel and hates their videos? Or does it mean that they don't know how to play the YouTube game? It's a really interesting one. It's, uh, it's really interesting. There are several reasons why people succeed and there are several reasons why people fail. Definitely, definitely in some instances, people succeed because people want to watch them because they're engaging and they produce fantastic content. Agreed. And then there are other times where people succeed because they were there first and they have nice titles that people get drawn into and they know how to play the game and they might be very very good orators and presenters and you know give across a good persona but that's not everything is it that's not everything so i looked here i did a little bit of delving into this right and i looked at this guy's channel okay now this guy has a hundred and blah, 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 50 odd thousand subscribers, yeah? I did an average of his last 10 videos, right? So on average, his last 10 videos are watched by 8% of his subscriber base, right? And that's, that's at best, because obviously you get quite a few bits of traffic that aren't your subscribers, but of all the people who are subscribed, at best, 8% on average over 10 videos watched his videos. So the other 92% didn't, at best. And then I did it on my one, on my videos, just as an example. And 30% at best of my subscribers watched my videos and the other 70% didn't, which still isn't great, but is better than, than the 8%. So maybe you could use that as the metric instead of views because, you know, there are statistics and lies and statistics, you know. Was it? There are lies, damn lies and statistics. So... Just because you're getting lots of views doesn't mean that you're performing well because you've maybe been there a long time and, and built up that base. But I just find that really interesting just to say that because you're not getting many views, it means the audience hates your channel because that's essentially what that's saying there. Essentially, you know, if you take that literally. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And, and, and on his latest video, he uses the word gatekeepers or the phrase gatekeepers. Is it a word? Is gatekeeper one word or two words? I don't know. But let's say he uses the phrase or the word gatekeepers. Now, I hate that term, gatekeepers, because it infers that you're not allowed to have an opinion because that makes you a gatekeeper. Gatekeeper is just another term for someone who's got an opinion on something. No one's saying you can't do something, you can't do this, you can't do that. But you are allowed to have an opinion on it. And if that opinion doesn't agree with someone else's opinion, doesn't make you a gatekeeper. So, and then he goes on literally in the next comment, the next phase to then do exactly what he just said is not right by having an opinion about something else. So it's an interesting one, isn't it? It is an interesting one. Um, and then we move on to number three. Uh, this is number three. So you are a proper, in inverted commas, photographer maybe even a well-known professional. Congratulations. The algorithm, in inverted commas, audience, doesn't care, especially true if your storytelling sucks. And that, in a nutshell, is everything that's wrong with landscape photography on YouTube, isn't it? That's everything that's wrong. So you're a professional photographer. You're an award-winning professional photographer. You take amazing photos. You're absolutely brilliant. Sorry, sorry, but you're not getting as many views as me. And that, that's it, because your storytelling sucks. Shouldn't it be like that your photography is amazing, so people would want to watch that because your photography is amazing? Or maybe not even that, maybe not even that. Maybe if you're the content creator that's getting all the views, 
you should be aspiring to become a better photographer rather than a bigger YouTuber. Wouldn't that be better? Isn't that what you do it for? Isn't that what your passion's about? Oh, you've got this passion. Passion for what? Is it really passion for photography? Or is it passion for views and likes and, and fame and fame? Is it that? Because surely what you should be doing is you should be saying, I want to be the best photographer I can be. I want to do the best I can, not I want to get as many views as I can by doing something outlandish that everyone's going to go, oh my God, look at that. Yeah, great. It's a great story. Well done. Well done on your great story. Brilliant storytelling. Well done on the rest of the rest is about editing and blah, 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 blah. Well done with a brilliant thumbnail. Well done with a hook on the first little bit of your conversation or your video. Well done with the storytelling. Well done with all of that. Why don't you try and be a better photographer? Why don't you concentrate on that? Why is it that you have to be a Clarkson? Why, why does everyone, why is it, oh, do you know what? I'll tell you what I fancy doing. I fancy doing a bit of photography. Uh, that's a good niche to get into. I'm not very good at it, but if I'm, a good, if I'm a good orator and I have some good ideas and I'm a bit creative, then people will watch me. Yeah, great, but then stand your work up. Stand your work up against the professional's work, this proper photographer's work. Stand yours up against theirs and let's compare that. Let's see how that goes. Because that's surely got to be the judge of it, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Or am I totally wrong? Surely, all right, yeah, you don't want to be, you know, dull as dishwater and, you know, here I am taking a shot, la, la, la. No one's going to watch that. But surely if you've got a semi-engaging vlogger who's a fantastic photographer, you're going to rather watch that over someone who's got all the bells and whistles and smoke and mirrors and, you know, is a bit of a, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying that this guy is. I'm just saying, though, in general, surely that's what you'd rather watch, isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. But yeah, it's a it's a strange one. I find it I find it interesting. And you know, a, a little while back, a little while back, I used to get into trouble quite a lot for expressing my opinion on on. Uh, Twitter users who weren't YouTubers, who were quite critical of YouTubers. So I, you know, I, I did a whole spiel about it once from Felix though and got into trouble over that. And I used to have little, little arguments on Twitter about it. You know, you know, I used to get into trouble over that. But then this type of thing makes me think, actually, do you know what? I'm kind of in agreement. You know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to stop making YouTube videos and I'm not going to stop making YouTube videos but what I really want is the the focus to be on me improving as a photographer becoming a better photographer not oh let's see if I can get 150,000 subscribers and you know however many thousands of views and people going oh you're amazing I want to hang out with you can I hang out with you to become a you know a bit bigger I don't want to be that person I want to be someone who who improves my photography but uses YouTube as a platform to, to maybe do that and to inspire others. So it's interesting that one, isn't it? It's an interesting one. And it, it kind of got me a bit, got me a bit wound up this morning when I read it, you know, and I just thought, hmm, probably should let it go really. I'm probably gonna get a load of hate from this. I'm probably gonna get people going, you can't talk about people like this. You can't do that. But I'm just saying how I feel. And that should be allowed that should be allowed. Don't be a gatekeeper. Don't be a gatekeeper on my opinion. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I think that'll do for me for now. But if you're a smaller YouTuber, actually, if you're a smaller YouTuber, do you think it's fair that the bigger ones say, oh, well, you've got no views, so that means everyone hates you? Because that's what they're saying. That's what this tweet is saying. This tweet is saying, replace algorithm with audience. The audience hates my videos. The audience hates my channel. The audience doesn't like me. That's what it's saying. So do you think that's fair? Do you think it's fair that someone with this, these resources, possibly because they were early adopters and got on the scene early, do you think that it's fair that they then put that out? You know, do you think that I should tweet and say, you only got where you are because you were in the, in the genre first or because you know how to play the YouTube game? You know, would, would it be nice if, if I were to say, you haven't won any awards because you're not very good? You know, that wouldn't be fair, would it? I'm not saying that that's how I feel, but that wouldn't be fair. Or 
you only win awards because they're popularity contests. Anyway, let me know. If you're a small YouTuber, let me know how you feel about that. And if you're a big, a big YouTuber, let me know how you feel about that. Let me know if you, you agree that people don't watch the smaller YouTubers because they're not very well liked. People hate their channels. It's an interesting one. I'm getting wet. I think I'm going to go now. Uh, I look forward to the comments. <laughs> I look forward to the grief I'm going to get from this. But like I said, everyone's entitled to an opinion. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.